YouTube, how's it going? I don't know if you've noticed, but recently they've started adding games to the YouTube website and a lot of them look like mobile trash. Some of them might be good, but the majority are probably going to be trash. So I took it upon myself on a recent stream to go through those games and rank them the only way I know how, with a tier list. And that's what you're going to see here today. So if you enjoyed the video in any way, shape or form, remember to subscribe and why not come check me out on Twitch. My link will be down in the description below. I think I'll just go in order of what I've got here, which is the first one here is Basketball Fervor. So I reckon we'll just start with Basketball Fervor, which is here. This looks like it's made for a mobile phone. It's just, it's just the one where you put the basketball in the hoop. Oh my god. I scored 20 points! Complete goal. Wait, there's prizes? Oh, hold on a minute. Why is this basketball a thousand? Right, I think it should be our goal to unlock the bowling ball. I wonder what the highest score I can get. I should try and unlock the bowling ball and also try and get 100 points. How come my first scoring attempt actually got me the best? This game's like Dark Souls where your beginner's luck wins. It is surprisingly difficult with the mouse. Is this my- is the crown my score then? I think my crown is the score. Yeah, I'll only get one coin each time. It's- it moves?! Oh. Scored 84. Nice wee rim job. Getting it in the basket there. Oh, I got 100 coins. I now have 100 coins. We just need 100 points. If you swish it in, you get multiple times, you get a score multiplier. Buckets. 104. Let's go. I'm, so, I'm concentrating so hard right now. I've got another bucket there. Ah. No! Hey, we got 122. And I tell you what, look, we got the bowling ball. Okay, we got the bowling ball. It's out of my hands now. Hey, basketball fever, not gonna lie. Not going to lie. Basketball fever wasn't terrible. If you're playing this on mobile, this is like an, this is maybe like an A tier game. Or is it B tier? Right now, I'm going to say that it's A tier if you're playing on mobile. If you're playing on PC like I was, it's B tier. It is Bazooka Boy. S is like amazing. You should play this. A is like, it is good. It could it could be good to play on your, like, your phone or whatever, because I think these are made to be played on mobile. B is like, oh, it's okay. C is like, it's not F tier, but it's also not good a good game. But it's not like F tier mobile trash. That's the way I'm ranking. We're going to the next one, which is Color Burst. This, oh, it's Color Burst 3D. How to play. Hit the colored wall matching the ball color. Move left and right to control the ball. Control the ball? Oh, okay. Oh, this one at least has score. I so. Hey, you didn't see that. I don't have. Oh, the color changes every time. Okay, I see. There needs to be a score goal for this. Oh, this one's mo- I reckon I could get 200 in this. Perfect streak. Wait, 200 was so easy. I done it. I got 200. I got 250. I got 250. No! Oh, my eyes are doing that like thing. Oh, I can get 500. This one, this one's kind of good. I quite like this on a mobile. On a mobile, this would be good. Perfect streak. Oh, did I get it? Five, four, three, let's go. I'm satisfied playing Color Burst. I'm happy with 543. If this is a mobile game, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, if this is a mobile game, this is gonna be looking up here. This is gonna be looking at S tier because I imagine the sensitivity would be a lot less. But I think it would be more difficult, which would be good. I'm playing it on PC. I'm going to rank it A tier. Color Burst is A tier. What was next? Next is the Draw Climber one. Draw Climber. This looks interesting. How does this work? Draw. 
Oh, look at my little guy go. Am I going to make it? I'm going to complete it first time. That sound effect is horrendous. Best score 554. Five, Searching for opponent. Wait, it's a race? Oh, I'm away from this guy. Oh, come on then. Oh, I didn't realize this was PvP. I'm teaching this guy a lesson. <laughs> 10 coins at the end. Let's go. How would you draw good ones? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, um, I would rate draw climber a C and we will say no more about draw climber, I don't think. So, what's the next game we're playing then, huh? Next one's Moving Co. What's this one? Is it in alphabetical order? Moving Co. What's this then? Match fast, match furiously. Oh my god, you can customize your van. Start packing. How does this work? So you put stuff together? You put match in pairs. It's kind of like that um, unpacking game. It's the op, but it's the opposite of that unpacking game because this is all about packing. So how does this work then? How do I buy stuff? A thousand, really? Two thousand for a color? Is this the gameplay loop? Is this it? Why does it not say wow every time? I'm not getting anything wrong. Why is it selective about when I say when it says nice? I'm going to get carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay, I think we've seen enough of this and we know how to rank it. And personally, moving co, doggy, doggy doo doo, doggy poo poo, ranking from me. I'm sorry. So I'm ranking that one an F as well. It's better than the bazooka boy and it is way miles better than the emoji puzzle, but it doesn't compete against draw climber. What's next? The next one's find out. This is some kind of weird like I think it's like a like a missing piece puzzle thing. Like I find the difference. So we have to find things then. We have to like find things hidden in the room. I got a magnifying glass and a timer. Seems you've mastered the skills of passing levels, now do your best. Challenge the levels. Ah, okay, so these ones aren't timed. And then you, when you finish the level, you get the timed version and the magnifying version or whatever. That's not so bad. So you can do the levels first without having to worry about getting stuff. There's the toilet roll holder. This is me earlier. Oh wait, there's, oh my god, there's loads of stuff here. What the hell? We need to put a straw in here. So now he's pooping. I was fine for my life, you're right. I found the fly and his phone. Is this a straw? There's the juice. What can I spray with this, huh? There's the bowl. I don't know what the traditional bowl is for. Use scissors for something? What am I using scissors for? Ah, oh, there's a letter. So I need like a note or something then, huh? Where does the note go? There's the rubber duck. How come I was clicking on that and I never ever gave it? What's this? Spray the towel. I like puzzle games like this. Like, unironically, I actually like them. Oh, it's getting a sale. What does he get a key for? So can we look in the sink? Here's a key. The gold key with a book. Where's the fire? Who's the fiver for? Give the fiver to the, the monkey? Oh, I flushed his... I flushed his key. He wasn't happy. Why does this wiggle? Found the tenor, there we go. 
How did I get the rat to come? Oh, I clicked on something there, something happened. How do you get the rat to come out? Oh, rat. I need to somehow get unlock open this up because the shovel's under here. How would you open this up? I'm missing some little doll and a shovel. Under the toilet, are you joking? Press and hold the rectangular flow tiles. I did this! Wait, you need to hold it for so long, that's ridiculous. This game's great. Big fan, huge fan, in fact. Huge fan, love it. Find out, S tier. Absolutely S tier. What a great game. 100% S tier, no questions about it. The next one's Mob Control. I don't think I need to explain why that's S tier. It's a puzzle game, it's simple, it's interesting. It's not just like the same puzzle over and over again. Stuff's hidden in different places, you need to solve it, how to, you need to work out how to get things. That game is so good for like a stupid mobile game. Northern Heights, I think this is a snowboarding game. Oh, look at my guys, dripped up. Hold to accelerate, release to jump and hold to dive. Oh, okay, it's one of these games. Wahoo! Yo, we're doing tricks. This is absolutely just another mobile game that's been transported onto this. I play a game like this on my phone called Tiny Wings and it's just like a 2D version of this. Except you're a little bird. And you're racing against other little birds. But it's the same like tap to go down, what mechanics. It's the same thing. Oh, 405. Is it like an increase my speed? Okay. Try to go faster. Okay. Mountain Heights. I think it is a B tier. It's better than it's better than Draw Climber. It's better than Draw Climber. The only thing Draw Climber has going for it really is the fact that you're supposed to be up against someone. But this is just like a points game. Yeah, okay, fair. I'd actually maybe move the basketball game up. What's that next one? Scary Extreme 3D? Tutorial? Oh my. Wait, hold on a minute. Is this Subway Surfers? This is the new Subway Surfers? Yo! Hold to flip in the air, release to stop. Wow! Oh my god, you flip so fast. Press Nitro. Oh, it's a mobile game. Look, I had to click away over there. What I need is to like grab my screen like it's a big phone. Level one. Wait, I'm racing against people. No, I don't want to be fifth. <laughs> oh, I spent all my money. Okay, you can kind of cheese it by just doing a bunch of front flips. I just did a triple backflip, let's go. We're done playing that because that's it. Honestly, I think it's B tier. Scooter Extreme 3D is B tier. It's not terrible. It's got more to it than the basketball one. It's not as good. Maybe it's A tier. Nah, it's B tier. For a mobile game, that would maybe be A tier. State IO. This is the next one. You were away for 12 hours. Oh my god, I played this! I did, this is one of the ones that opened up. What the hell? Oh, I did, I tried this before, right, okay, so I think you need, you send troops and you try and conquer the states. I actually didn't mind this one when I played it. Can we take over this red town that's coming to get, to get us? We absolutely can. Okay, I actually didn't mind this because it's kind of like Risk without the dice rolling. No, he's going to try and take over. Oh, we managed to save it. Look at this army. I'm amassing very large armies here. I feel like the United States right now. Yes, I own all of the territories. Let's go. How is he started with 15? Oh, because he's in the middle. Oh, no, he's not. He's just started with loads. I'm so confused as to how they've ended up with loads. Wait, if I strike now, it'll be weak. No more green. Green's gone. Let's move everything up here. Yeah, I think it's like some kind of weird take over the country game. And I won. Wait, level 2 South America? Wait, I can level up? I've actually got something to spend my coins on in this game. Maybe I'm the coronavirus. Oh my god, it is. It's like, the, it's like what was that? Plague Inc? Remember everybody played Plague Inc? Oh, you can change this. You can change your thing. 
What do you want to look like? Ghosts? Aliens? Oh, it's like 5,000. They're so expensive. Not good enough. Okay. Listen up. This one's pretty good. I quite like this one. I, I, I do quite like this one. I'm not going to play anymore though. Wait, because we need to move on. We've got more to go. Where would I rate state IO? You know what? I'm going to put it A. I'm going to put it A tier. It's a good one for playing on PC. It's actually a good one for playing on PC. As opposed to having to play it on mobile, it's good for playing on your computer. And it's like simple, it's easy to pick up. You can spend your coins good. You can do stuff with it good. It's good. I like it. Find the alien. What is this? Right, we need to find the alien. Moving on from Bully and me. We need to find the alien. And I don't know how this is going to work. It's doing it itself. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's the alien. We found him. What the hell is this? Found him. Um, found him. Um, why are you guys arguing in the bathroom? What is going on here? Why are they all in bed together? Uh, what have I just walked in on? What? Uh, do I want to scan this? Oh my god, he's in bed with the alien! There's two of them! What the hell? Ah, good evening, sirs. Let me just let me shoot a cop. This guy's the emperor. Oh, we gotta go back up. Pitiful human. You cannot stop the invasion. I'll be back. Um, I've kind of been outnumbered here. So we start a blast. Citizens rescued. I rescued all the citizens. MCU Secret Wars. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say we've played enough of this game, and we do not need to play any more. So I'm going to click back, and we are going to rate to find the alien as a C tier. I think I would rather play Draw Climber, but this game isn't as bad as Static Bounce. It's not as terrible as any of these games down here. Or is it as terrible? Nah. It is down here. Find the alien is F tier. It is top of F tier. Give it a level timer. Give it a level timer and don't lock your movements. Yeah. And have like a right click to scan, left click to shoot thing. Okay, right. We're on to the next one, which is some kind of cat academy. Magic cat academy. What the hell? Whoa! Oh. If you goes by drawing its symbol anywhere, yo! Now this is gaming. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna like this one. Oh, that comboed them. C -c -c combo. This is this is cool. What are they? Oh. I'm so good at this. What the hell? Nerd? This guy got goofy ass glasses? Oh. Ooh. This is actually sick. This is so cool. Has anybody ever done this flawless before? I think I'm about to set a world record. Man, so I'm stressing. This is cool though, the fact that you're like drawing the spells out and you can like adjust the way you do things to combo stuff so you're taking them all out at the same time. Huh? Oh. Stay back! No, he got me! You draw a heart to heal? Imagine a Dark Souls game like this. This is going to give people carpool tun tunnel syndrome. Level 5. That's boss fight time. That was the worst a lightning strike ever. Whew. I'm the champion. We beat the game. Honestly, pretty good.
as an S tier. It's got no replayability. If the cat game had replayability, absolutely 100%, this is fantastic. It would be amazing and like you could have all different shapes and wiggles and things and it would be so good. It just needs more work. That's an A tier game though. That, that is amazing. And we beat the whole game. Moving on. Lock drop. This is Tetris. How hard can it be? Shit. <laughs> I mean, it's not even Tetris. It's like fake wannabe Tetris. This isn't even a Tetris block. Where does this go here? Uh, this can go anywhere. Is this me flunking out? Yeah. Use your power ups. No thanks. This is terrible. It's not even Tetris. This is worse than this. It's an F, F, F tier as well. Slimy O. How does this one work then? This is like going to be like one of those ones that used to be on, used to play in like school, like Snake, yeah, Snake I.O. or whatever. That's what this is going to be, isn't it? Wait, so you just eat stuff and get bigger? I can't tap and hold the dash. Because I need to control with the mouse. Wait, I can press S to dash. What does that mean? Okay, this is just one of those IO games. It is also actually probably going to be, we could be more fun than both of these games. It's definitely more fun than Stack Bounce, but Stack Bounce would be good if it was on mobile. Slime IO probably good if it's on mobile. And this is us on to the final one. Idle Restaurants. Now, I love an idle game. I am an absolute sucker and a fool for an idle game. Welcome to idle restaurants. Hire chefs to upgrade your menu. Upgrade chefs. Each food gets XP. Upgrade boosters. New restaurants. Play game. The vegan house? Not a chance. Let me rename this. Increase the price, gets you more money. Whoa, it's actually it's like the long. I didn't realize it was like tall like that. They leave so much money on the table, these fools. You're not supposed to leave it on the table. You're supposed to pay the, the staff. I'm already making 2,000 coins a minute. I'm just going to start charging them absolutely ridiculous fees to be their dinner. Is this it? Is this all we do here? Le level 10. How do I know what level I am? How do I level up? These people are getting absolutely swindled. Look at that. 400... $400 tip. $500 tip. I'm almost charging them three times the price of the meal. Okay, I mean, really, this is it. If this is all this is going to be, this is it. And really, it belongs. It belongs in B tier, I think. Is it better than. I would maybe go back to it. I'd maybe go back to it. I think basketball game is actually better than Extreme Scooter 3D. Quick recap then. The worst games on. The YouTube playables out of the 20 that I select are absolutely the emoji puzzle. You're matching emojis together? Nonsense. Get away. Mob control, second last. I mean, it's fake online, fake versus another player. You're just duplicating things. It's like maths. It's dead easy. It's, it's boring. There's nothing to it. Uh, then there was Bazooka Boy. Bazooka Boy is just worms, but worse. Moving out, that was just dragging stuff into a box. What the hell? Who's going to drag stuff into a box? Block drop was crap Tetris. This was that Merge Heroes. It was a tower defense game. We find the alien. Really, it was an F tier game, but it could be higher. It, if it had better mechanics, it could be a B tier because it was kind of funny going and finding the aliens and like, what the hell was going on? That's the F tier. This is Stack Bounce here at the end of C tier. Stack Bounce is, would be a good mobile game, which is why it's here. If you're on a toilet, it's a good mobile game. Slime IO is just like, what's the other one? Agar IO? It's an IO game, it's fine. They, they can be addicting every once in a while, and then you don't play them for six months, and then you go back and play it once. Fine, whatever. Pocket Champions is Subutio. It's slow, there's not much going for it, but it's good to the foods on the phone. Fine, whatever. Draw Climber. Draw Climber could be cool. Billiards, this is just a blatant rip off a mini clip. A ball, fine. Whatever. It's, it's playing pool. That's fine. Mountain Heights, decent, but meh. It's better than these games, which is why it's here. 
but it's not particularly it's just like a ramp and build up speed and momentum game fine whatever uh idle restaurants is just an idle game fine whatever i do like an idle game so i'm partial to that secure extreme 3d if this was on a mobile device this would be good it's not good because it's on the computer basketball fever actually kind of addicting it's like those old basketball like the iMessage basketball game it's actually kind of cool now we're into the a class a class is like good games these are good games but they're not s tier games they are decent for being on here uh but we have state io which was that one where we were taking over countries and it's like risk without dice rolls color burst if this was on mobile color burst would be great you're dodging you're ducking and weaving you're dodging duck, dip, diving and dodging like easy to play on a phone I played it on the computer, it's difficult when you've got really high sensitivity. The Cat Academy. I'm gonna say it. Cat Academy is, is Cat Academy should be S tier, okay? The thing the reason it's not S tier, it's only got five levels. And the, the the drawing stuff, the fighting off stuff, the artwork, the animation it is so cool. The way you the way you play it is so cool. This should be an S tier game. But it's only got five levels and that's why it's in the top of a tier and then finally our only s tier game is find out which is the find the clues game you need to solve the puzzles and find the clues i probably played a lot more of that than i should have to be honest and but yeah there we go that is our tier list for the 20 of the youtube playables that they've brought out recently Go and check them out. Go and, go and play some of them. Go and try. Go and play the ones I didn't play because some of them were actually probably maybe decent, and I've just not picked them. I picked twenty at random, and I just put the tier list together and just played those twenty. So there's probably other decent ones, and maybe I'll check out the other decent ones again in the future. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching it. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe and come check us out live on Twitch as well. Sometimes 